Palermo, Italy opened the door to international competition in the first ever World Cup of American football. They came from six countries and four different continents to share a common bond in the game they love. But more than a tournament, the first World Cup was a lesson in courage and camaraderie. It was a building block for the future. For the players involved, their World Cup invitation was something to remember. And this is first ever the World Cup of American football, so I'm very proud to be here. It's a great feeling to run in on that field when it is. It's, it's, it's amazing. This is definitely the sporting highlight of, of my life. For over two weeks, the six teams practiced and played a familiar game. But for the island of Sicily, the game was something new, and the people of Palermo flocked to see this new and exciting game. A sight to behold was Team Finland, who overcame every obstacle on the road to Palermo with the leadership of their fiery head coach, Thomas Hagman. Playing through illness and even missing equipment, these young Finns showed immeasurable courage in the face of adversity. Team Australia also had a hard road to the World Cup. Let's go, let's go! But their enthusiasm disguised it well. These players have totally dedicated themselves by paying their own way. In fact, the coaches did too. They paid their own way for everything, where they're just doing it because they love the game of football. Earning this opportunity with their own paychecks, the Aussies were determined to cash in, and they did winning their final game with last-minute heroics. As the host of this grand event, Team Italy was the center of attention. You know, being the host, uh, there's always a little bit more pressure, but um, I think with a little more pressure comes a little more excitement. Quarterback Marcello Leo and receiver Matteo Sorosini thrilled local fans. True to the spirit of this tournament, the Aussie team cheered loudest for their hosts. Italy put on a tremendous show, but was ultimately overpowered by the impressive Swedes. All week long, Team Sweden flexed its muscle against the world's best. Their technical perfection sparked plenty of sideline excitement. Sweden won the third place final against Italy, and then they had a celebration to remember. Japan was one of two World Cup teams who ran away from the pack. Their size and experience overwhelmed opponents and vaulted them into the final game against Team Mexico. A lightning quick defense was Mexico's trademark, tracking down any play anywhere on the field. They also boasted the tournament's highest scoring offense, which paved the way to the championship game. Signore e signori, buonasera, cominciamo con la trasmissione di questa finale, la prima World Cup American Football in Palermo. In the championship game, these two titans collided in an epic struggle, and on this day, defense reigned. show 
slow down the promised offensive explosion, the defenders supplied the fireworks. And as time expired, they dueled to a scoreless draw, sending the game into sudden death overtime. Más suerte, más suerte. Which meant the trophy was only one score away. Two teams battled for four quarters, but there could only be one champion. And when Japan took the field, they had their sights set on history. Japan quickly drove deep into Mexico territory to set up the game winner. A pass to tight end Nachi Abe sealed the historic victory and incited a global celebration. With all six teams gathered at game's end, they took turns saluting one another. It was a celebration of Japan's victory, but more importantly, a celebration of American football. Palermo, Italy crowned the World Cup of American football champion in 1999. They also paved the way for a tournament and a sport whose future seems boundless.